In this video, I want to talk about the five mistakes I made when buying, refurbishing and refinancing property in central London. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Ravinder Singh Orjula and on this channel, we talk about how you can grow a property portfolio quicker and faster than a normal investor, how investing works and what smart investors look for, how finance works and how you can use it to your advantage. So let's get into this video. Mistake one, creating an inner room. In this project, we created an inner room, which means that in order for the person in the bedroom to escape in the event of a fire, they would need to exit into the kitchen area. We had to ensure we had designed the apartment taking into account this issue. I spoke with many different building control companies and they all said it was not possible. Luckily, I spoke with someone at London Building Control who said that if we installed a water mist system, we would be compliant. Don't buy apartments where you are going to create an inner room whereby the apartment is actually higher than the first floor. Our solutions such as the water mist system, which can be expensive to install and maintain. And some freeholders don't tend to like these, even if they are compliant with building regulations. Mistake two, the refinance always takes longer than you think. We always thought that at the six month point, you could refinance and move onto the buy to let mortgage relatively quickly. But during COVID, we've noticed that it's taking extra time to get the remortgage over the line. But now we always build into our calculations eight months worth of bridging costs as a minimum. It always takes longer than you think. Always have a buffer in place just in case time scales are delayed. Mistake number three, measure twice. For our project in Vauxhall, we thought we had enough space for a dishwasher and washing machine. But turns out our builder had a quick question for us. Which would you prefer, a dishwasher or a washing machine? Tough choice. So I said both. Luckily, he found some space where he could install a washing machine near the entrance of the property. We had the issue for our project in West Hampstead. I'm sure I asked my builder if the space was big enough and he said yes. Turns out it wasn't. But luckily, we were able to create an L-shaped kitchen to get everything in. Always measure twice and always check how much space you need and how much space you've got. Mistake number four. Always consult your builder and ask what he would do. For our project in Brixton, we had decided to convert this one bedroom apartment into two bedrooms. Our builder said, why don't you add a macerated toilet and make it into a two bed, two bar property? This was a great way of um, adding additional value. Always ask your builder or someone else how you can best maximize the space. Two heads are always better than one. Mistake number five. Always make sure you get at least three quotes and make sure you have a schedule of works so that the quotes you receive back allow you to compare the cost of the works. For our project in Battersea, someone quoted £15,000 for all of the works. For £15,000 sounded really cheap. We also got a quote for £70,000. Apparently they had been on homes under the hammer and so they thought that, that justified the quote. Always get at least three quotes. Meet the builder in person and ask to see examples of their work and even speak with previous customers for which you've completed a project recently. If you like this video, please smash the like button and hit subscribe so that you get notified when I release another video. Make sure you are subscribed as I will pick a subscriber at random and have a 10 minute call with you to see how I can help you on your property investing journey. Please check out my personal website where I have lots of free videos on property investing and service accommodation. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye.